Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Alexandre Bermont with you for a new podcast episode. This week I'll cover a very important topic because I'm going to show you how to back up your Apple mobile devices, iPhone, iPad and iPod. This is really crucial to have an updated backup of all your data all time just in case of a crash or if you need to exchange your device due to an obsolete one or if your device got broken and you need to exchange it or repair it under warranty. Three types of backups are available. The iCloud backup, the iTunes regular one, as well as the iTunes encrypted backup. So I'll show you these three methods and make sure you'll be able to keep an up-to-date backup of all your data all time. Enjoy! I am with you today to show you how it is possible to perform some backup of your iPhones. It might be very useful to perform some backup of a smartphone or either your tablet. By the way, it's going to be the exact same procedure if you're using an iPad compared to an iPhone. So I'll be with you today to show you how it is possible to perform these backups and it might be very useful in the case you need to change your smartphone because uh, as of today, like lifetime of a smartphone is usually no longer than four years. So it might be nice to be able to back up, rush your smartphone if you need to change it. I'm saying four years, but uh, you know, personally, I am changing mine every two years. So I'm doing regular backup of my device. And it might be also very useful to perform backup on a regular basis because if your device is broken, you'll have to be able to restore your data. So that's why it might be very useful to back up and save your data. Yes, the cloud exists, but the cloud, high cloud, will not back up everything. So three ways to perform a complete backup of the device exist. The first one is on the iCloud server that you can enable. And once a day, if your iPhone is connected to the AC power, a backup will be automatically performed. So that's the first thing. But this backup will not include encrypted data except if you have turned on the iCloud keychain. And we'll talk about the iCloud keychain a bit later on because if you lose your device, you'll not be able to re-enable the iCloud keychain or it might be a very difficult, so it might be an hard time for you. So that's why the iCloud keychain is available, but this is not magic. And the other way to back up data from your iPhone will be using iTunes. The first one is to use a regular backup. And I'm not suggesting you to use this one because, again, some data will be missing. The other possibility will be to use an iTunes encrypted backup that will save all your data in one backup. Do not lose your backup password because you'll be very stuck. Uh, you need to keep it in a safe place. But if you're following this rule, you're not going to face any issue. You really need to keep your password and never lose it. So we'll talk about this today. I'd like to show you first how it is possible to make sure that your data are synchronizing on a daily basis with iCloud. So if you're not able to connect on a regular basis your smartphone or tablet to a computer, you will at least have a backup of most important information. However, you'll have if you restore from the iCloud backup or a non-encrypted iTunes one, you'll have to re-enter manually each of your passwords for email accounts, for the Wi-Fi, for website, etc. Except if your password were saved in the iCloud keychain and you're able to re-enable it. So uh, that's why, uh, really, I suggest you, the again, the iTunes encrypted backup. So I'll show you first how to make sure uh, your iPhone is automatically being backup on iCloud. And I'll show you the iTunes interface. Not all functionalities of iTunes because we'll still be talking together a month later. So I'll just cover the backup part 
Regarding restoring the iPhone or configuring a new iPhone out of the box, I will not cover this part with you today. However, in a separate podcast, for sure, I'll show you how it is possible to configure a new iPhone if you purchase a new one or if Apple exchange yours so you'll not be stuck and it might be very useful to be able to set up an iPhone by yourself as well. And at the same time, I'll be able to show you how to restore from a previous backup. So I'll keep our backup in a safe place and we'll be able uh, to restore it a bit later on. I am currently running iOS 12.2 and I'll be using a Windows 10 computer uh, with JAWS 2019 in order to process this demo. First thing first, before using our computer, I would like to show you how you can make sure that uh, your data will be saved on iCloud. So without further ado, Notes. Let me Stocks. go ahead Remind. and open TV. my settings. Double. Apps. iTunes. Books. Health. Wow. Se- pay. Settings. Here's my settings. Let me double tap it. Set settings. Heading. Here are my settings of my iPhone. If I flick right, one of the first options I may hear is my name. Or in your case, for sure, it's going to be yours. When clicking on your name, the iPhone or iPad should display your Apple ID settings, so your uh, Apple account settings, as well as settings related to iCloud, iTunes, and App Store. So let's go ahead. Search. Alexandra Bellamare, Apple ID. There Selected. we go. Settings. Back button. And as well, the Apple ID will also be confirmed to you to make sure you're in the right one. So I am in my settings. Let me flick right. Apple ID. Heading. Account photo. Edit. So if I want to put a photo on my account, I really don't care about this. Alexandra Bellamare. So that's my name. Next option is the confirmation of my Apple ID. I'll skip this one to keep privacy of it. So let me flick right twice. Name, phone numbers, email, button. So from there, I can go ahead and upgrade my personal contact information associated to my Apple ID. Password and security button. I can update password and security. So if you're looking to turn on the two-step authentication, you should be able to do it from there. Payment and shipping. Two cards button. Here are the options related to payment and shipping. So if you need to change your credit card associated to your account, you can do it as well. And same thing for the uh, shipping and billing address. iCloud button. Here are the iCloud settings. So if I click this button, a new window will uh, pop up. Uh, But I don't want to do it right now because I just want to show you uh, options that are remaining there. So I'll just continue flicking right and I'll come back to iCloud a bit later on iTunes and App Store button. Here are the options related to the online shop. So for iTunes, it's going to be music, movies, and uh, books, etc. And same thing for the App Store. So if you need to change um, settings, you can do it from there. Share my location button. Share my location. Uh, this option allows to select uh, which device connected to your Apple ID will be used to share your location. Concretely, it means that if you have more than one device connected to your Apple ID, let's say two iPhone, one iPad, if someone asks for your location or localization, uh, the this data will be shared from the device set from there. So if you want to set up a specific device who may share your location, you can uh, do it uh, by clicking this button. Next option. Family sharing. Alexandra. Alexandra. Okay, so here's my family. So uh, yes, because uh, this uh, account is part of a family. So uh, what is a family being there? Uh, Family will allow you to share some data and 
uh, the family will also allow you to share some purchase or even an Apple music music subscription. So it might be really useful uh, to do it. And uh, that's why uh, I have many uh, other, I have uh, two or three other Apple ID in this family. Uh, let's continue iPhone 6S formation. So here's devices that are connected to the Apple ID. iPhone 8 Alex Bell. Sign out button. And the sign out button. So if I want to remove a device from this account, I can do it. So I have the possibility to check which devices are actually logged in into my um, Apple ID and which one are using some services. So I have the possibility from there to sign out all of them. So let me go back to the iCloud settings. I, I, fam, I, I, payment in iCloud button. There we go. Let me click. Selected. Apple so ID. I am double tapping button. with one finger. Let me continue flicking right. So we'll be able to see settings there. iCloud heading storage heading iCloud, 1.6 gigabytes of 5 gigabyte used, backups, 19%, docs, 12%. Okay. And here are data related to storage. So by default, iCloud provide 5 gigs of storage. For sure, you can purchase extra storage. So you'll have the possibility to do it. Manage storage button. And the next button is the manage storage button. So if you want to purchase extra storage or see what's uh, taking space, you can click this button and you should be able to find the information you're looking for. Let me continue flicking right. Apps using iCloud heading. So apps using iCloud. So what's going to use iCloud storage? Photos on button. Photos. So if you want to store photos you're taking as well as videos on iCloud, it's actually turned on in my case. Maybe I should turn it off anyway, but I'm not taking a lot of them, so that's okay. Uh, but if you want to back up your photos on iCloud, you can do it this way. However, note that if you're bagging up a lot of photos or video, it may take a lot of space on your iCloud account. And in this case, uh, you may have to purchase extra storage. Mail on. Mail is on. What is mail? Uh, mail will not back up your personal emails on all your email accounts. This settings is exclusively related to an iCloud email address. So iCloud.com email address. If you decided to turn it on, you'll have to create an iCloud email address. And personally, associated to my Apple ID, yes, I have one. And uh, because this is the main address of my Apple ID, so I have no choice to continue using the iCloud email address. I think if I try to turn this option off, I'll just no longer be able to access my iCloud email. So I don't want to do it. Contacts um, on. Contact. I'll greatly suggest you to make sure this option is turned on. Uh, if this option is not, you're not going to be able to synchronize your iPhone contact with iCloud. So your contact will remain stored on your iPhone, except if you're using a Google account where contacts are put in there. But really for contact, maybe what I can suggest to you, if you're just an iPhone user or just Apple product user, you may turn this option on and make sure to save your contact by default into iCloud if you don't want to lose any kind of information. Let me continue flicking right. Calendars on. Same thing for your calendar. So if you're using the Apple calendar, I'll suggest you to turn this setting on. It's going to be turned on by default, but maybe you can do a small checkup. Reminders on. Reminder. Double tap to toggle setting. So for your reminders. 
notes on notes double tap to toggle notes that you will take using the note app will be stored in iCloud if this option is turned on and if you are uh, saving them in the appropriate folder because if you are saving them locally uh, you may not be able to see your notes on iCloud and by the way this is not for backup purpose because uh, let's say that I'm adding a calendar event or a note on one device I want to be able to retrieve it from my second device. So let's say that I'm having a Mac computer, I'm having an iPhone, an iPad. I want that all these information be synchronized on each of my device. So that's why I greatly suggest you to turn these options on. Messages on. Messages, what is that? Now you have the possibility to synchronize your text message with all of your devices. So even if you're not doing any backup, if you're setting back an iPhone as a new iPhone, your messages, if this option is on, will be stored on iCloud. So you're not going to lose any uh, conversation history. And by the way, note that if you want to be able to turn this feature on, you'll absolutely need to turn on the two-factor authentication options or it's not going to be possible to activate this new feature. Safari on. Safari. So if you want to be able to sync your bookmark as well as open tabs between your device and keep a backup of them, Here's where you need to go on to make sure this option is turned on. News on. News. This is for the Apple News service. Stocks on. Stocks. I think not a lot of persons are using it, but it's going to have out to save settings and preferences regarding this app. Home on. Home, this is for the smart home control and Apple Home Kit. If you're using smart devices, you may need to turn this uh, option on in order to be able to access the home app and create your uh, home. Health on. Health, this is for uh, data related Stocks to on. health. Oops, health. sorry. Wallet off. Health on. Okay, there we go. Wallet off. Wallet, this is for the uh, payment. So uh, if you want to uh, add some cards into your wallet, you can sync some preferences with the um, with iCloud and wallet. It's not going to save all banking card information, I think, but it might be useful to turn it on. Wallet off. So let me on. turn it on. on. You know, I've just double tap to turn it on. That's it. Game center on. Game center, so all data is related to games. I don't really care. Siri on. Siri, so yes, now some settings might be uh, integrated into um, iCloud for Siri. Keychain off button. Here's the keychain. If you want to turn it on, you'll have to follow a small wizard. But like I said previously, if you're having only one Apple device, and if you lose this device without enabling the keychain prior on a second device, you may be just unable to reactivate the keychain and uh, retrieve your stored password on a second device that you'll purchase. So that's why um, it's going to be better to uh, use encrypted iTunes backup instead of the keychain. I think prior to the two-factor authentication, it was possible to um, retrieve the iCloud keychain. But now, since the two-factor authentication, if you're having only one device, uh, it's going to be on our time for you. So just be aware of it. If you're using this uh, keychain, keep a copy of your password just in case, okay? Uh, it, it might be better to do it. But anyway, even with the encrypted iTunes backup, it is still a good idea to keep a copy of all your password just in case. <laughs> like, let's say you, 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 your iPhone is lost and you did an encrypted backup prior to this, your computer hard drive crashed. You'll be stuck. So 
be sure to always keep a copy of all your passwords to uh, gain back access to your account. Find my iPhone on button. Oh, the find my iPhone. I think we should talk about this one. Um, what is this feature? This one is used to be able to uh, find, to remotely find or uh, erase data on your iPhone. Uh, by default, it's going to be turned on. And this is related to your Apple ID. So that's why it is really important to always keep uh, an access to your Apple ID and be able to recover your password in case you lose it. And if you're unable to remove um, the Find My iPhone, you'll just be completely stuck um, because the only way to disable Find My iPhone will be by entering the valid Apple ID password. And this one will be checked by Apple servers. So if you're unable to do it, you're not going to be uh, able to remove this security feature. And if you try to just go ahead and proceed uh, with a restore, whatever the way you'll use your iPhone will be stuck. And after a restore, if you're still unable to enter the right Apple ID password, you may not be able to reconfigure your iPhone. So this is really crucial. Always keep an eye on your Apple ID password as well as your information, your backup information to be able to retrieve your password in case you lose this one. And yes, I saw in the past that uh, some persons were stuck this way and they were just unable to gain back access to an iPhone and even sell the iPhone to someone else. So the iPhone is just dead and no way to get out of this. Even Apple will not be able to assist you unlocking an iPhone. This is to prevent uh, stolen uh, devices to be reactivated. So that's why it's really important to be able at any time to deactivate Find My iPhone. And please do it before selling one of your Apple device. So uh, just to show you, I'll double tap the item. Find My iCloud back button. Find My if iPhone. If I click heading. right. Find my iPhone on. Locate, lock, or erase your iPhone and supported accessories. Your iPhone cannot be erased and reactivated without your password. About find my iPhone and privacy link. But okay. Automatically so autom send last location on. And Double. yeah, send last location. So what it's mean? Automatically send the location of this iPhone to Apple when the battery is critically low. This is it. So if your iPhone is not connected to the internet, you're trying to re to erase it remotely, um, the action Automatically will apply once the iPhone will get back uh, online. So just to show you, send, locate, lock, find my iPhone on. So if double I double tap, to tap toggle set. this one, off, it's off. alert. However, secure text field is editing password character mode insertion point at start. Enter the Apple ID password for four. So I absolutely need to enter the password associated to my Apple ID in order to be able to deactivate Find My iPhone. I forward, cancel so button. let me click cancel. Find my iPhone on. And it is back on. So this is it. Uh, let Apple me ID, back go button. out of there by doing the uh, two finger uh, gesture. iCloud backup on. I, I and find my I next item. iCloud backup on button. This is the iCloud backup option. I'll come back to it a bit later. I just want to complete uh, settings, uh, exploring settings on this screen. iCloud drive on. Here's the settings related to the iCloud drive. So if you want to be able to use the iCloud drive storage, you may turn this option on. Books on. Books, it's going to save and back up all bookmarks related to your uh, books that you're reading with iBooks and are all, all your settings. Antidote on. Uh, now, these are installed applications that may uh, use iCloud to back up some data. 
Blind, downcast, Dropbox, grass, I just have one, them. plain tap, Prisma, Prisma, voice, tr WhatsApp, on, writer, on, look me up, button. Look me up, let me show you what's in there. Selected, iCloud, back, look me up, head, apps that have requested permissions to look you up by your Apple it will appear here. People who look you up will see your first and last name. So this settings is not uh, related to apps that are asking for your localization your a physical acquisition based on your uh, device that you're using but based on your apple id apps that have requested and i have none so if look me up some apps request the apple id position you'll be able to see them on this screen mail button and mail what button. is mail these are settings related to the icloud account so let's skip this out and let me come back to the Rose icloud backup Rose con manage app net con count room note messages so far news stop home health um, wallet games siri teach find icloud back icloud backup on button. icloud backup perfect let me click on this one icloud back icloud back button backup heading backup heading icloud backup on Automatically backup data such as your photo library, accounts, documents, home configuration, and settings when this iPhone is connected to power, locked, and on Wi-Fi. Learn more. Link. All right. Double tap so to activate them. Right now, the iCloud backup is on. So once a day, a backup will be performed, except if you decide to perform a manual backup. And we'll do one together just to show you. Backup now button. So I can click the backup now. And if I want to check when last backup occurs, I can click right. Last successful backup yesterday at 6.51 p.m. Here we go. Last success because uh, this is uh, when the iPhone was connected to the AC power. Backup so now. let Button. me click backup now. Okay. Can in progress. Backing up. Progress two percent. There we go. So I can now see the progression of the backup. Progress two percent. It may take a couple of uh, minutes to perform this. Cancel backup. backup. Button in progress. Backing up. Progress two percent. So estimating time remaining. Estimating time progress 2%. Okay, when it's going to be done, I'll be right back. All right, the backup is now done. iCloud if backup. I click on. right. Automatically backup backup now button. Last successful backup 10:19 a.m. So right now and note that depending the number of data you'll have to backup since the last successful backup, it might be shorter or longer. So if uh, you did not perform a lot of changes since your last backup, it may take like just a couple of sec. But uh, let's say that you perform a lot of changes it may take like up to maybe five or ten minutes depending so uh, just wait until the backup will be completed and that the percentage will be uh, removed from the screen and that you can see that the last successful backup correspond to the actual time so if i look at backup my clock, 10, 10 21 a.m that makes sense Backup. I auto back. Last successful backup. 10 19 a.m. Okay, so yes, I have a, I have a two minutes difference, but that makes sense. So let me go out of there. Apple ID. Back button. Perfect. Back again. Settings. Back button. Back again. Settings. Settings. Heading. All right, and let me go back on my home screen. Ho Set it. And now we'll be ready to connect the iPhone to iTunes in order to perform the encrypted backup. Please keep in mind that even if you're not doing any uh, iCloud or iTunes backup, your data like photos, calendar, mail, contact, etc. If you've activated the iCloud sync, they'll be backup anyway. The iCloud backup will backup settings your personal settings and things that are not automatically uh, backed up with, um, let's see, uh, iCloud apps like Note or Contact. You know, for example, the iCloud backup may include uh, the uh, list of apps that you've previously downloaded. So after restoring from an iCloud backup, you should be able to uh, automatically, like the iPhone will automatically download all your installed app if these apps are still available on the App Store after restoring from the iCloud backup. 
with the encrypted backup, uh, all passwords uh, for mail accounts, social networks, Wi-Fi, etc. will be kept. However, the only thing you'll have to reconfigure is your security code. So when unlocking the screen, let me lock. 10.23 a.m. If I press the home button. Passcode field, zero of four values entered. I'm asked for my passcode. So this device passcode will not be kept into the encrypted backup as well as touch ID settings and face ID, depending the model of iPhone you have. So let me go ahead and open iTunes and we'll see how you'll be able to perform this encrypted backup. All right, so I'm now in front of the computer. Then let me press Windows D to go to the desktop. Windows D. To move to items, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. Folder view, list view. Recycle bin. 3 of 12. All right, I am. Let me find iTunes by pressing hi. I. iTunes. There 6 we go. of 12. Then we'll open this one. Because it's the first time I'm launching iTunes, we should have to answer a couple of questions. We'll do it together. Enter iTunes software license agreement dialog. iTunes software license agreement read only edit. All right, this is the iTunes software license agreement. I don't want especially to read this, so I don't want. I'll just press tab and accept. Tab, agree button. To activate, press space bar. Agree. Enter. There we go. Desktop, folder view, list view. iTunes, 6 of 12. To move to items, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. All right, so iTunes is now loading. We should be prompt with another wizard in a couple of sec. iTunes, iTunes, welcome to iTunes, welcome. All right, so welcome to iTunes. Let me press them. Tab. iTunes is the simplest way to enjoy your favorite music, movies, TV shows, and more on your computer. Okay, it's fantastic. Nice. Tab. Take a quick tour button. I to don't care. Tab. Do you agree to share details about your library with Apple to see artist images, album covers, and other related information in your library? Uh, so I'm now asked if I'm agree to share my uh, information regarding my music library with Apple. I'll answer yes to the question because in some situations it may allow us to obtain updated details when importing into iTunes based on the Apple uh, iTunes library. So let me press tab. Tab. Learn more button. Tab. No thanks button. Tab. Agree button. Let me press space bar on agree. Space. Music. Music introduction. Music. Okay, this is the introduction of iTunes. Tab. Let me Songs press and videos. Tab. At tab. Go to the iTunes Store button. Tab. Sign in to the iTunes Store button. Okay, I'll not have to sign into the iTunes Store. However, if you really want to do it, uh, you can uh, do it. Uh, it might be helpful if you want to be able to see your complete library or even to uh, see your purchase. I'm not going to do that. Tab. Volume left, right, tab. Airplay, um. tab. Up next, but tab. Edit. T tab. Search option, tab. I think, iTunes. Um, Music, but okay tab. Go. Library, radio. I think, yes, we are ready to go now. Uh, sounds good. Tab. For your radio button, tab. Yep, Browse because I tab. can see radio my music radio, library, tab. which is empty. Tab. Library, tab. Library sidebar, tab. Edit button, tab. Music playlist, spot, tab. Hi button, tab. Music introduction, tab. Yep, sounds music good. Introdu sounds tab. To be good. Songs and videos, yep. tab. Uh, I go just to the did iTunes. a complete tab. Sign tour. in to the iTunes store button. Okay. Tab. Vol Seems to be nice. Okay, so next step will be to connect the iPhone to the computer and uh, we'll go from there. First thing, I'll just uh, come back to my iPhone screen. My 11, iPhone home screen. Here we go. Mail. Th calendar. Thursday. Okay, I am. Because when I'll go ahead and connect this iPhone to my computer, I'll have to answer some questions on the computer as well as on the iPhone. So let me go ahead and connect this to the computer. iTunes dialog. Do you want to allow this computer? computer to access information on left quote iPhone 6S formation right quote? If you don't allow access, you will not be able to manage or see. Okay, so what's going on there? I am asked by the computer as well as the iPhone if I want to trust this computer. So on the iPhone. Trust this computer. Your settings and data will be accessible from this computer when connected wirelessly or using a cable. Trust button. Okay, so. Don't trust. Don't trust. For button. sure, I'll have to click trust. 
Okay. Entered passcode field. Is passcode field. Zero of four values entered. Uh, let me. Tab. Cancel oh, so tab. Continue button. Click to on the computer and continue. Enter. iTunes. To activate, press space bar. Alt plus S. iTunes dialog. To allow access, please respond on your iPhone. Stop button. To activate, okay. press space bar. So now Alt I plus need S. to uh, respond from the iPhone. So uh, I'm prompt to enter the uh, four uh, digit pin code so let me enter it and i'll be right back here we go JKI. mail 3667 on red emails i do double tap to open volume left right slider 100 percent to increase or decrease use the arrow okay. keys okay so it is done tab airplay button to activate pre and uh, let me now find the high phone tab. up next button tab tab Install iCloud for Windows, dialog, oh, okay. install iCloud for Windows, enable photo stream on your PC and keep your contacts, calendars, and bookmarks up to date automatically with iCloud for Windows. Learn more about iCloud, remind me later button to act. Uh, you can do it. Tab, or... download, download, shift tab, shift tab, download iCloud for Windows tab, remind me later button. Let me click remind me later for now. Space. This is not something that will be really useful uh, in the context of just backing up the device. So you can even answer no thanks if you don't want to sync your calendar, your contact or whatever else using iCloud for Windows. From there, I'll try to press tab in order to find my iPhone. Tab, volume, tab, airplay, tab, up next, tab, edit, tab, search option, tab, iTunes, tab, iPhone button. To okay, here it is. Let me click the iPhone button. Enter. Back button to activate press space bar. And now we are in our iPhone settings and we should be good to go to set up the encrypted backup from there. So let me press tab and we'll explore available options together. Tab, iPhone 6S formation, tab, iPhone 6S That's formation the name edited. of my device. Tab, eject button. To eject if I want to safely disconnect the iPhone, we'll do it later on. Tab, 16 gigabytes. So that's the capacity of storage, 16 gigabytes. Tab, battery colon 86% left current charging right. So I can see the battery level. Tab, device sidebar tree view. To move through or expand items, use the air. I don't need to use this one. Let me press tab again. Tab, iPhone 6. iPhone 6, okay. Tab, capacity colon. Tab, capacity colon 14.90 gigabytes. Yeah, in fact, this is an iPhone 6, but uh, the name of the device is not the right one. But anyway, this is not important for the demonstration. So let me continue tabbing. Tab, iOS 12.2 button. Okay, so I'm up to date. Tab, phone number colon button. Tab, phone number colon plus one. Okay, this is the phone number associated to the iPhone. I'll mute the speech here. Tab, your iPhone software is up to date. iTunes will automatically check for an update again on 2019-04-25. Okay, and blah, blah, blah. Nice, so I'm up to date now. Tab, serial number colon button. Tab, serial num tab. Check for update button. Tab, restore iPhone. Tab, backups. Tab, automatically backup. Okay. Tab, manually backup and restore. Tab, iCloud radio button checked. Okay, so automatic backup and manual backup. So here they are. Actually, iCloud, iCloud backup is checked. We'll leave it checked because this will change the setting for the automatic backup. So I don't want to change this one. I just want to leave it on iCloud. If I want to change it, if you are trying to use up or down arrow, it's not going to work. We'll have to continue tabbing. Tab. Manually backup your iPhone to this computer or store a backup stored on this computer. I know this is not uh, easy to understand this kind of interface because this is a big chart, but this chart is uh, not read the right way by JAWS. Maybe, yes, iTunes needs to be a bit reorganized, but anyway. Tab. Backup the most important data on your iPhone to iCloud. Tab, this computer radio button not checked. So if you want that automatic backup being stored on your computer, so each time you connect the iPhone to the computer, it's going to proceed with a backup. You can check this checkbox by pressing space bar. Space. And you'll have to press insert tab to confirm. This computer radio button not checked to change. Oh, did not, did it? Shift tab, this computer radio button checked. Oh, there we go. I press uh, shift tab and tab and now the, the checkbox was checked. Let me uh, go back and check the iCloud one. So shift tab a couple of times. Shift, shift tab. Manually back up your iPhone tab. Manually back yeah, up your iPhone to this computer or store a backup stored on this computer. 
tab, backup the most important data. Sh shift tab, manually backup and shift tab, automatically backup. Mm. Tab, manual tab, iCloud radio button not checked. Oh, there we go. So let Space. me check the iCloud. Insert the tab to confirm. iCloud radio button not checked. Two. Okay, it's not working. It's not refreshing. Let me press tab and shift tab again. Tab, shift tab, iCloud radio button checked. So uh, now iCloud is now a check. So I don't want to change the automatic way that my phone is back up uh, because if I check this computer, it's going to be back up on the computer only and the uh, iCloud backup will be disabled. So let me press tab. Tab, tab, tab. Couple this of computer times. radio button not check. Okay, so I'm back on this computer radio button not check. Pressing tab again. Tab, backup now button to activate okay. press space bar. So if I want to backup now on this computer, I can do it, but I'm not going to do this. I want to perform, I want to enable first the encrypted backup. Tab, a full backup of your iPhone will be stored on this computer. Tab, latest backup colon. Tab, encrypt local backup checkbox not checked to check press space bar. Here we go. This is the checkbox allowing to encrypt the backup. So for sure, I'll go ahead and check this one. Space. Pressing check. space. Set password dialog. Enter a password to protect your iPhone backup. Password colon password edit. Type in text. And this is the password you should keep in a safe place because if you lose it, it might be possible to deactivate the encrypted backup, but you'll have to factory reset some of your settings. So uh, this is not a good idea. So please always keep this password in a safe place and for sure if you don't have this password you're not going to be able to restore this encrypted backup elsewhere so when restoring the backup you'll be prompt to enter the password so let me type a password star 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 okay let me press tab tab verify password colon password edit type in text i need to re-enter this password star Star, 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 star. Here we go. Great. Uh, let me press tab. Tab. Set password button to activate press space bar. And set password. Enter. Pressing enter. There we go. So from now, the encrypted backup should iTunes start. Dialog. Backing up left quote iPhone 6S formation right quote. Stop button to activate okay. press space bar. And Alt plus S. now we'll be able to see a percentage. iTunes dialog. Backing up left quote iPhone 6S formation right quote. Backing up left quote iPhone 6S formation right quote. Progress bar. 0%. Stop button. So Estimating time remaining. Okay, so it's in the uh, first step backing up the iPhone. So for sure, uh, we're going to wait. It should take a moment. As soon as the backup will be completed, I'll be right back with you. 3%, 4%. So depending the number of data you'll have on your iPhone, it should take a while. So 5%. don't worry if it takes a couple of minutes. 100%. All right, it seems to be done. So um, let me press insert tab to see where the focus is. Stop button to activate okay. press space bar. It Alt is plus S. still backing up left quote iPhone six S formation right quote completed uh, because I still have a stop button. So I'll have to wait a couple of sec again. But uh, the the backup should be um, completed soon. So let me tab. see. Stop button. And once done, uh, we should be good to complete iTunes. Oh, there we go. So iTunes, it is now back Tab. on. iTunes, volume left. Okay, cool. So the backup has been completed. Let me check if the backup was properly performed. Tab. Airplay. So Tab. let Tab. me Edit. find Tab. back Tab. the Search. iPhone. Tab. Tab. iPhone. Tab. iPhone 6S for me. Okay, Tab. Tab. Eject. Tab. 16. Tab. Tab. Let me press Tab a couple Phone of times Co because... Tab. You're right. Um, tab, zero tab, serial tab, check for tab, restore iPhone saw, button to activate press space. We parsed these options together a couple of uh, minutes ago. Tab, backups, tab, automatically backup, okay. tab, manually tab, iCloud radio tab, manu tab, backup the most important data on your iPhone. Here's the option. Tab, we saw this computer prior. radio button not check, tab, backup now button, tab, restore backup button. Tab, a full backup of your iPhone will be stored on this computer. Tab, latest backups colon. 
tab. Encrypt yep. local backup checkbox check. Okay, to latest clear. backup. Uh, this is not uh, there that will be able to find tab. the information. This Let will allow account passwords, forward. health, and home get data to be backed up. Yeah, like I explain, all passwords, uh, account password, Wi-Fi password, except Touch ID, Face ID, and the PIN code of the device. Tab. Today, 10, 19 a.m. to iCloud. Today, 1, p.m. to this computer. Makes sense, because if I ask for time, pressing Insert F12. 1.53 p.m. Yeah, sorry, I was obliged to interrupt a couple of times the recording during doing this. So uh, that's why uh, it's not... Uh, <laughs> maybe the exact time so now we can confirm that the backup was properly done if you want to do another backup maybe what i can do with you is shift -tab. press shift tab to eject the smartphone shift, shift tab this comp shift tab manual shift tab icloud um shift yeah, shift tab eject automatically it. shift tab backups shift tab restore iphone shift tab check for shift tab phone number colon Shift tab, capacity call, shift, shift tab, in. battery call, shift, shift, shift tab, iPhone 6S formation, shift tab, search tab, Oops. back tab, iPhones tab, iPhones tab, eject button. There we go. Pressing enter. Enter. Eject button to activate okay. press space bar. Mute tab. And it's done. Tab. So go to the iTunes. I can for sure unplug the iPhone. And let, yeah, there we go. Let me plug it back in. Here we go. Mail, 3,669 unread emails. Okay, thank Double you. Double tap to open. Actions available. Okay, so now the iPhone is plugged back in. Tab, sign in. Uh, let tab. me Vol find back the tab. iPhone button. Airplay. Tab, up next button. By the way, always open iTunes before connecting the iPhone. I think it's going to be much easier for you. So iTunes is open, connect the iPhone. Then after a couple of sec, just press tab until you'll hear the iPhone button, then activate it. Tab, edit, tab, search, tab, music, tab, iPhone button. To there we go. Pressing enter. Enter. Cool. Back button. Damn. Tab. Let iPhone me 6S press formation radio. Tab. Tab. iPhone 6. Tab. Eject button. I'll press it a couple of times just to reach the uh, backup. Tab. 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 Your iPhone software is up to tab. 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 Automatically backup. Manually backup. Tab. Okay. iCloud radio button check. Tab. Manually backup your iPhone. Tab. Backup the most important tab. This computer radio button not tab. Backup now button. Tab. Restore back. Uh, here's Shift the tab. backup, backup now. now button. However, I'll skip it. Tab, tab. I just want to make sure backup that your... tab. Latest backups colon tab. Encrypt local backup checkbox checked. Okay, so the encrypted backup is still checked. Let me Shift press tab. Shift, Shift tab. tab. Backup now button. Okay, so backup now. Pressing enter. Enter. Here we go. So now, compared to the previous backup, backup now button tab um, volume left right slash it tab. seems Airplay that button, tab LCD section stop button. Okay, here it is. So compared to the previous backup, we'll not see any percentage compared to the initial one. So just make sure to find the LCD tab. section. Backing up left quote iPhone and success to formation press right tab. quote. Tab, up next button. And shift tab, LCD section, backing up left quote iPhone 6S formation right quote. Until you'll hear this message, it means that the backup is still in process. So I'll be back with you once done. It should be uh, shorter than the prior one. Tab, up next, shift tab, LCD section, backing up left quote iPhone 6S formation right quote. iTunes. So this sound confirmed that the backup was successfully performed. And here we go. So the backup is now done. What else? I'd like to show you where is located the sync button, allowing to synchronize data with iTunes. So if you want to transfer some data that are stored on your iPhone and get them in iTunes, I'll not cover all details regarding synchronization, but if you are interested to learn more about this, that can be another topic for a, another podcast episode because uh, synchronization, it's a complex thing. I just want to show you how you can launch it. 
tab. Check for update so button to activate let me tab. Restore press tab. We are still in the iPhone window. A tab. Automatic tab. Manually backup in tab. iCloud radio button check tab. Manually backup your iPhone to this computer tab. Backup the most imp tab. This computer with tab. Backup now button tab. Restore backup button tab. A full backup of your iPhone tab. Latest backups colon. Tab. Encrypt look tab. This tab. Today to tab. Change path shift tab. Here it is. Today 10 19 a.m. to iCloud. Today 2 3 p.m. to this computer. Okay, so we can now confirm that the backup was successfully done. Tab, change password button. To By the way, if you want to change the password of the encrypted backup, you can do it by clicking this button. Tab, options. Tab, automatically sync when this iPhone is connected. Checkbox checked. Tab, sync with this iPhone over we dash five checkbox not checked. Tab, prefer standard definition videos. Checkbox and tab. Convert higher bitrate songs tab, AAC tab, manually manage me tab, reset warnings button tab, configure accessibility tab, photos 38.5 megabytes. Yes, by the way, for the accessibility, iTunes allows you to configure and launch voiceover. So it might be helpful if uh, you need to launch back your screen reader and the shortcut is not configured. But... As of today, this is not the easiest way to configure the accessibility because you can also just ask Siri to turn on voiceover. Anyway, never know. Tab. Documents and data 2.63 gigabytes. Here are some information on how the storage is used on your device. Tab. Other one points. Tab. Free 10 point. Tab. Sync button. To and here's the sync button. Let me click this button. Enter. And it should sync the iPhone. Let me press tab. Tab. Volume. Tab. Airplay. Tab. LCD section. Tab. Stop button. To add tab. Oh, okay. Uh, I missed the message uh, in the LCD section that was probably saying that the iPhone is currently being synchronized. But uh, here we go. So it is done. By the way, another thing you may perform uh, if you're doing some changes to your iPhone setting through this panel tab, volume, is tab, to... Tab. Tab. Your iPhone software before, is up to date. I uh, before ejecting the iPhone, tab. you may tab, tab, find tab, tab, tab. after the Manually sync button. Tab, 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 tab. Sync button. After the sync button. Bar. Tab. Done button. A done button. Enter. So if Music. you click this Music button, in some situation, you might be asked if you want to apply changes that were made. So uh, if you did some, maybe go there, click the done button just to make sure your changes will be uh, correctly applied. So Shift tab. Um, Music. let me go back into my iPhone. My backup is now done. Shift tab. Library. Shift tab. Music. Um, Shift tab. Hi button. Shift tab. Is. Devices. Shift tab. Oops. Edit button. Tab. Devices. Shift tab. Library. Shift tab. Library side. Uh, Shift tab. On. Store radio button. Shift. Shift. Shift tab. Library. Shift tab. iPhone button. Okay, to there we go. Enter. Pressing enter. iPhone button. Uh, by the way, just before ejecting, I just want to show something else. Tab. I just tab. want Zero to zone. show you tab, 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 regarding tab. if you want to uh, remove the encrypted backup. Shift tab. This will allow account passwords, health, mm -hmm. and home get tab. Today 1019. Shift shift tab. Encrypt local backup checkbox check. If I try to uncheck this one. Space. Not checked. Enter password dialog. I'll be prompt to enter my encrypted backup password. Tab. So cancel. I don't want to do it. Enter. Clicking I cancel. I just want to show you that the password we have previously chosen is really important to keep in a safe place. So uh, let me press uh, back tab until I'll find the eject. Shift tab. Latest backups colon. Shift, 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 shift tab. Backup the shift tab. Shift, 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 shift tab. Phone number colon. Shift, shift, Shift tab, capacity cook, shift tab, iPhone, shift tab, device sidebar tree view, to uh, shift tab, again. battery cook, shift tab, 16, again. shift tab, eject button, eject, enter, there we go, music introduction, so music. now I can disconnect the iPhone from my computer, here we go, so the backup is now done, oh, it was uh, helpful to know for you. Don't worry, I'll explain you in a separate podcast how it is possible to set up an iPhone out of the box and what you should do with it. And at the same time, we'll show you how you can restore from a an iCloud backup or even an encrypted backup. So I'll keep 
our encrypted backup in a safe place so we'll be able to restore it when I'll show you how to configure a new iPhone. So in the meantime, if you need some assistance, if you need some technical support on how to use uh, your Apple product in an accessible way, let us know. We are still offering uh, on-demand and private service and training, uh, technical support, training, whatever else. Let us know. We are here to help. The Harley cost is $30 per hour plus taxes. And uh, for sure, if you have some questions, comment, or would like to suggest a topic for next podcast episode, you can also send us an email. You'll find our contact details in a moment. This was Alexandre Benmar, and I'll catch you in another podcast episode. Thanks for listening. Before the end of this podcast, I would like to say you thank you for your loyalty to this series of podcasts on assistive technologies. I would also like to thank our loyal collaborator. As a reminder, I would like to inform you that Canadialog will not provide free technical support on product presented during these shows and that are not sold directly by Kenny Dialog. Please note that our podcasts are now available on our website, YouTube, iTunes, as well as on Victor devices by consulting the North American English suggested podcast list from Humanware. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can contact us via email at podcastwitness at kennydialogue.com that is P-O-D-C-A-S-T-S at C-A-N-A-D-I-A-L-O-G dot com or by phone on our toll-free number at 1-888-730-0003 again 1-888-730-0003 extension 555 extension 555 I also invite you to visit our website, which contains a lot of useful information at www.kennydialogue.com. You can also visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening.